Hey guys, how's everybody doing? So, as the name of the video suggests, why a tuning box is adjustable. Now, I warn you in advance, what I'm going to say here is going to go against uh, probably all of the marketing spiel that goes with every single tuning box manufacturer. I'm not saying that they're doing it deliberately or tuning box manufacturers are trying to mislead people. I'm just, they're just they're putting a feature on a product and they're trying to sort of put it in a way that people will understand. Um, I think the way that they word it is it's not correct. Um, so but let's get to the point. Why a tuning box is adjustable? There's only one reason why a tuning box is adjustable. Just one. And that is so you can, you as the customer, can optimize the product to get the most performance for your particular car. Like for example, we're looking at, in this video, we're looking at um, uh, an F80, the M3. Um, so from the factory, this car supposed to have 431 horsepower. Now, not all F80 M3s are going to have 431 horsepower from the factory. Some might have uh, 420, some might have 440. Some might have 450, 460. They're not all going to have exactly 431 horsepower. There will be differences between the cars. There is adjustment in the box then, so you can optimize it for your specific engine. So, for example, if your engine is producing, say, 450, then maybe you, you will need to run a lower, a lower setting than, than number 5. Uh, if your engine is making less than a factory figure, for example, 410 horsepower, then maybe you can run um, the 6 setting on the GTS or the 5 setting on the RS, you, i.e. you can run a, a higher setting. This is what it all comes down to, guys. This is the only reason a tuner box is adjustable. It's so you can optimize it for your specific engine. No other reason. In reality, once you've found that optimum setting, you're not going to need to touch that tuning box again unless it's, a, unless it's an extreme situation, i.e. extreme weather temperatures, extremely hot, extremely cold, or if you're doing something extreme with the engine. For example, you, you, you know, you're towing something heavy or you're taking the car on track, then you might need to alter the settings so you can opt again, so you can optimize the engine for the for the specific activity that you're doing at the time this is the only reason the tuning boxes are adjustable it's not going to be more economical in the lower settings it's not going to be you know more sporty basically the race setting the setting that gives the optimum power is also going to be the setting that is the most economical now that might, might seem counterintuitive so let me explain the more power the more efficient the engine is the less revs that you need to use to, con to, to drive at the speed that you want. So if you're using less revs, you don't need to use, you, the engine won't be using so much fuel. If the, if the engine is turning over less, if it's doing 3,000 RPM instead of 4,000 RPM, you're gonna have 25% less injection events, injection of fuel, fuel events into the engine. So while that might not translate into 25% less fuel consumption, you should see some uh, improvement in um, fuel economy because you're using less revs. And this is the principle uh, behind tuning boxes, uh, possibly for you uh, giving better fuel economy. So by that logic, the race setting, i.e. the setting that gives the most power, is going to be also the most fuel efficient because it allows you to use less RPM. That's the only reason the tuning box is adjustable. It's not to change the behavior of the car. It's not to change, um, not for the car to be different according to the way you drive in or your mood or whatever the case may be. It's got nothing to do with that. It's simply to allow you to find the optimum settings. And also, don't get the idea that every single setting is going to be uh, suitable for the car. Uh, so this is why tuning boxes are adjustable, guys. Um, you know, I don't, we don't recommend at Street & Circuit don't recommend the, the, any products with Bluetooth and we don't recommend changing the settings. The, like I said, there's absolutely not, no reason to be altering the settings once you found the optimum. Like I said, unless it's extreme situation, i.e. extreme weather, temperatures, or you're putting it through extreme use and then you may need to alter the setting to, to, be, to optimize the, uh, the engine output um, for the activity that you're doing. Having said all that, there is a product which is 
uh, designed to be adjusted regularly. And this is exactly what it says in the tin. So you've got the race chip XLR, and this does exactly what uh, you'd imagine that the, the, the settings of the tuning box were for. So this has got like uh, Eco Plus Plus, Eco, um, it's got two normal settings and it's got race, race plus settings. Now this is, this is the, the if you want to be able to change the, the horsepower output of the car, according to your mood, not peak horsepower, but horsepower according to throttle position. So we've got throttle position along the bottom. So, in, so for example, they show the eco mode here and it shows you how that, as you press the pedal more and more, what effect that has on the um, horsepower. And then you've got race here and that shows you how much, what effect it has on horsepower. So if you want an eco mode, if you want to be able to change you know, the settings of the car, the feel of the car, the character of the car, according to where you want, you know, if you want to save fuel, then you need the, the throttle pedal. This is the product that does the adjustment. This is the one that you'll be changing, you know, maybe constantly, you know, according to the mood, according to where you are. If you want to, you know, if you're in traffic, you don't want to be having to worry about not pressing the throttle too much. You know, I know some cars are very sensitive throttle. I suppose the F80 apparently is something that can be, you know, a bit, um, a bit uh, sensitive to the throttle pedal. So this is the product that you'd use to adjust the power that the engine gives you. You're not, like I said, if you look up here, you're not adjusting the peak power. You know, the peak power is the same, but the character of the engine changes with the XLR. And this is the product that changes that. So, like I said, if you're stuck in traffic, you can wind it down to Eco Plus. There is a setting below this, and that will make it, you know, very easy to modulate the power. You know, you don't have to be worrying about, you know, you know, five or ten percent on the throttle. It's going to give you much more leeway in heavy traffic. You don't need to be so precise to the throttle, which can be, you know, a very nice thing to have. You know, not having to be so precise to the throttle. And likewise with the race, if you want it to be, you know, right up it, very responsive, then this is what you've got the XLR for. Basically, the two products go together. You've got your tuning box and your um, and your throttle position um, uh, adjuster. So they're two different products for two different systems, but they work beautifully together. So you've got the settings on the tuning box, like I said at the start, like I've been saying until now just to get the optimum power. And once you've found that, you can forget about this. You don't need to change it after. Like I said, less extreme circumstances. But if you want to change it in traffic, you know, for example, in slippery conditions, snow, rain, especially if you've got a powerful car, especially if you've got a powerful car, you know, you can, you can damp down that throttle spikiness, that responsiveness with the XLR. The XLR is what you want to be adjusting. Really, you want to be adjusting the responsiveness of the throttle pedal. This is what you want to be adjusting. This is the important one. So the two products go together. This changes the feel, and this is simply to get the most power. And that's it. So that's it, guys. That's a video. As usual, I've been rambling a bit, but this is why tuning boxes are adjustable, and it's probably not for the reason that you think. But hopefully, this video has clarified it. Like I said, I know probably a lot of it's controversial. It goes against some of the marketing that the tuning box manufacturers do. But nevertheless, this is, this is why the tuning boxes are adjustable. This is the truth, if you like. As always, if you like this type of video, then please subscribe to the channel. We're always uh, trying to put, upload something, you know, at least one video a week, if not more. Um, please vote on the video, um, and I'll see you again next time.